What is up, everybody? It feels good to be back. This is Prof G. Rob, and today we're taking a look at Higarashi when they cry. I don't. Okay, I've seen. I've actually seen the series, so I can't say that I know nothing. But th I've I've seen this entire series twice, binged watched both times, but both times I did not pay attention. The first time I saw it was in, like, a Discord server or something. Um, and I was just chilling with people while someone streamed it. And I was just playing Minecraft that entire time. The te second time I saw it was at a party. And I wasn't paying attention then either. I was either talking to people while the entire series was being streamed, like, um, binged. It, it was a thing. The entire reason we were all there was to watch it together. But I wasn't paying attention. Um... So I know I know some vague things. I know there's a purple-haired girl who wears a weird mask. I, I I know a lot of small things, but I don't know anything that'll make a difference other than there's some weird. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it. I I know one spoiler that if I cared, it would probably be a big deal, but I don't care. I'm excited to see whether or not I like this though. So I'll get back to you in just a few minutes. Okay, so I just saw. The intro to Higurashi. I, I, I probably called it When They Cry. I know that's not the actual name or whatever. That's just the name of the intro song, I believe. The actual name is going to be in the title. I don't give a fuck right now. So, Higurashi, the opening. What did I see? I saw people getting butchered. It was pretty fucking metal. I, I liked the colors flashing everywhere. It, it really had a whole mind-warped feeling to it, which, which I dig. I'm really into the the, the destruction of a person's sanity, which is what I felt like I was looking at right there. Um, the OP song is pretty fucking metal. I like it, honestly. Like, I, I, if if I had my way, I would have the background vocals of it, like the people going, hande hade hade, that shit, I would make that like blaringly loud, like LEA style, blaringly rape your ears loud. But that, that's just my kind of music, the loud loud something and then sudden drop to quiet while the... Never mind, never mind. Anyway, it, it's pretty good. It looks great. I like it. Okay, I'm like four minutes into it and I gotta say, I can tell that they're trying... I, I don't know how this show is marketed. I don't know anything about it like that, but... I feel like they're trying to trick me into thinking that this is a nice, happy um, atmosphere. Because that's how the atmosphere feels right now. The, the, you can see it around the border of the screen. There's like this white... Here, I'll, I'll pull back like, seconds. Yeah, look, look, look at that. There's like blur all around the corners. Like you're looking into a dream, right? That, that's what they're doing. The music is nice and relaxing. Let me play it just a few seconds of it for you. Yeah, you hear that? That, like, soothing piano. Or is it a harp? I don't fucking know. But it's soothing as hell, whatever it is. It's trying to put you into the state of mind where, like, oh, this is some nice romance or some shit. I like it. I, I ship these two. This, this girl's falling all over herself. I'm into that. But I know, I know, I saw out of the corner of my eye the depraved shit that was going on. I know that they're trying to set you up so that you fall hard, so that you're surprised. I bet they're going to walk into the school or something, and like, there's going to be an overly detailed corpse just hanging out. It's going to, Sayori's going to be hanging out a a after having been in there for months. She's just going to be in the closet or some shit. That, that, that's what's coming, I can feel it. But I love what they're doing. If I didn't know what kind of fucked up shit I was getting into, then I would probably be surprised. This is the second time they've done this shit. Look at the top of the screen. They're telling me what a bento is. I know what a bento is, but then so do the Japanese people. And that's that, that thinking that made me realize they're going out of their way to make this for foreigners they're making this for the people in europe and for the people in america because they know we're ignorant as fuck about their culture i don't know how i feel about that but i think that's sweet Th thank you 
makers of Higurashi for condescending to me and sharing with me some basic information about your culture. Hey, you see, you see that shrine? I watched a lolly get gutted on that fucking shrine. Shit's gonna go down, fam. Look at this girl. One minute she's a lolly, and the next she looks like she's got hips for days, and she looks like a 22-year-old. I swear to God, what's her fucking deal? What is this show trying to do to me? Okay. Look at that line down there. You're having a meal with everyone, and you decide to exclaim, Having a bento with everyone is lots of fun. Lots of fun. People don't talk like that, okay? I don't know why. I don't know why that, I, that I'm that i not bothered. But when I see shit like that in anime, where I see a person just exclaim something, or in a cartoon, people just expositing something, I don't know why it doesn't bother me, but it should bother me. That's not how people talk. And if any up-and-coming writers are watching this, please, don't have your characters expound shit needlessly. Your, right, your, writer, your reader can put two and two together and figure out how your characters are feeling from the way that they act. They don't need your characters to dissect their personalities and their emotions for the reader. They don't need that. The, this line is servicing nobody. In fact, if anything, I bet... Its only purpose is to make me more attached to the red-haired girl, the childhood friend-ish character, and make me... I, I imagine there's a Sayori thing going on with her where they're trying to make me think she's a cinnamon bun so that I'll be devastated when she hangs herself or whatever. Because I, I know that's what the show is going to do. I know e terrible things are going to happen to everyone. So that's what I'm reading into this. The show is trying to make me attached to these characters. So that I'm devastated when shit goes down. They call Colonel Sanders. Kentakun? We doubt it. Oh, Kentakun. Give me your fried chicken. I I'll suck your drumstick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I thought she looked like a lolly earlier. This is not a lolly. I, I was mistaken. I just realized this is a harem anime. Kent all right, so I just finished Higurashi, and uh, I'm pretty sure that was episode two. Now that I think about it, I mean, everything was in that the way that it should be in an episode one, but at the same time, I'm I was looking all through the um, non-specific location where I found the show, and uh, and there was no episode one listed. There was an episode one and two. But when I click on it, it's the length of a single episode, and it's titled episode two, so I'm a little confused. But anyway, what do I think of Higurashi when they cry? Judging from the first episode alone, I'm not going to take into account any of the other shit that I know from having seen it before. Um, it's, it, it's looking like it's going to be some pretty intense pretty interesting like drama shit like a mystery a murder mystery thing i know that there's a lot of supernatural shit that's going on like time traveling lollies and all that but um not even taking that into account this first episode gives me a good impression on what the rest of the series will be like so i'll watch all of it and after i finish the entire series if i think that this show is not given the recognition that I feel it deserves, I'll make a video debating my uh, my views on it. So, with that, I'll see you in the next portion of my first look. Alright, so I just finished reading the Higurashi When They Cry Wikipedia page, and let me tell you what I've gathered from it. First things first, Higurashi. What is it derived from? It's derived from a visual novel series, which was extremely popular. It went by the same name and it had the same story. There's been some minor changes in the story, some things have been replaced, yada yada, you don't need to know that going into the anime. When it was turned into an anime from a visual novel, it was given very good, very positive reviews and all that good jazz. What is Higurashi about? Um, long story short, it's time-traveling horror. You see these people that you grow to care about, 
um, put into situations where they all die, and they're trying in very intelligent ways to escape their deaths, but they almost always fail, and they almost always meet gruesome ends. So it's a good story to get depressed on. If, if you're feeling a little too happy, you know, it, you, you, ju- you just finished playing Subnautica, and you gave that Emperor Emperor Leviathan a big pet on the head because they're so cute, the baby ones, and you're feeling too happy after that, come watch Higurashi when they cry. You'll be feeling like Sayori in no time, I promise. So, with that, I'm going to go binge watch this entire series. I'll see you guys next time I start watching a new anime. What is it going to be? I'll tell you right now. It's probably going to be Precure. It's an anime recommended to me by, uh, well, recommended to everyone by Digibro, and he's got a good track record with me, so I'm going to give it a try. I'll see you guys in who knows how long. I'll probably be putting out some podcasts for Just Yuri. If you've seen the development podcast for that, I'm the head writer on the Just Yuri development team. We're making a mod for Doki Doki Literature Club. Give that a try. Give it a look. Look us up. We've got a Discord. We've got a Twitter. we got a Reddit. We're posting out information. It's going to be a great game. You'll probably see plenty of videos about that on this channel. So with that, thank you everyone, and I will see you next time.